What's up guys? Today we're going to an open house at the local fire station. There's mom. She's driving today. She's my chauffeur. So how much does it cost to ride in a fire truck? One dollar? Two dollars? Or just one can of soup? <laughs> one can of soup, you can ride in the fire truck. They will not catch you on fire, I promise. Do you want to get caught on fire trip? Maybe. <laughs> that would be bad. We don't want that to happen. Oh, look at it. We're going 100 miles an hour. All right, let's go to the fire station. Check out the fire trucks. They're going to do the fire trucks. They're doing Jaws of Life, fire demonstrations. I think you can squirt the hose. We might be able to squirt and carry with the hose if we're lucky. Maybe I should have brought two cans of soup. But we're on our way. You want to ride home? I'm not walking home. Okay, we won't get you at. Be home. We'll be there in like, not home. I'm going the wrong way. We'll be there in like two minutes, so we're on our way. See you guys there. What's in the air? A helicopter. Where? Right there. A red one or a white? Very cool. Um, we're going on the red one. The red fire truck. Ready.
you're gonna be one of the first ones in after. Here we go. Okay, so we rode in the fire truck and then we went and looked in the life flight helicopter. Which was cool. Very cool. Cool to see where the patients ride. But we never wanna never wanna ride in one of those helicopters. No, no those were like sightseeing or something, but never not that way. And now we're gonna look at this awesome we car. Over here and found a car. What? I think what it's for, going on. It, it might be for sale. It's for sale. It's for sale. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna spray out those tires. Those tires over there. <laughs> That'll be awesome. They're almost up. Woo! Me and Mitch here, we're firefighters. When we go through school, every firefighter here in Utah, when they go through school, they do a little portion of uh, extrication, and that's just cutting cars. It's pretty fun. We do this when we get on scene. This is called a tool cache. Usually we'll get out a tarp, and one or two guys are gonna be setting tools out. So we just have a tool cache right here, everything ready to go. Okay, hopefully this works out quicker. Our cutters are dead. So good thing we practice. Seems that the switch to activate it is busted. So we'll wake up the mountain with this stuff and carry it. That's what we're gonna do. We've done it before, just, to, just up here in these mountains right behind us, we just carry the equipment up. Good question. Okay, that was a good question he asked. Why wouldn't we bring in some, some more heavy equipment, like a backhoe or something, just to get more power behind it? So, uh, the more power you have, the more dangerous it can be in the regards of, uh, for example, if we have a mountain rescue, uh, they, people have asked us, like, why don't we just use a winch? You know, because we use the ropes and we pull them ourselves. It's for the same. So the hard side is down just in case there's an airbag in there because believe it or not, there's been airbags inside of doors after the- I go look in the ambulance? Yeah! All right, let's go. Yeah. You gonna go in there? Uh-huh.
Hey guys, so we're just leaving the fire station and that was really cool. Okay, that was pretty cool. We were able to ride inside of a fire truck. Trip jumped inside of a helicopter, an ambulance. What else? You crawled through a tunnel. We saw them use the jaws of life. That was awesome. It was crazy. They were chopping a car up, ripping the doors off of it. It was awesome. It we broke, went, they broke the glass. Yeah, we went in an ambulance. So not like, we that. didn't get like hurt and go in an ambulance. We just like went inside and saw stuff. So don't, don't worry about that. So if your local fire station is having an event like this, go check it out. Support your local firefighters and paramedics. They're awesome. Do so much for our community and keep us all safe. So. What do you think about firemen? It's, I think they're awesome. Thank you to Northview Fire Department for having us. We know you sacrifice time with your families and you do a lot of hard work. You put your lives at risk for us every day. It's greatly appreciated. So if you happen to see a police officer, a fireman like that, a public servant in a restaurant, on the street, shake their hand, tell them thank you. Thank you for coming with us to the fire station. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. See you all next time. Bye!